if you want to see me turn into this mess and what products made this mess, then keep on watching. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I had to be a little quiet because I have family staying in my house right now and it's like 11 at night. So I had to be considerate of everyone else, but I also wanted to make a video tonight. So yeah, cause we all know I'm usually a loud ass bitch. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a video of a full face of makeup that I hate and never would use ever again. So that's why I feel like with this video, that makeup gets loved and gets put to use. Um, and obviously it's 11 at night, so it, it is gonna come right off. So honestly, I do not want this video to be like freaking 40 minutes longer like my last video. So let's get right into this. We are gonna start with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. Honestly, I'm not sure like if I exactly hated this but I know that I never reach for it so yeah it is one of these like squeezy bottles and I'm just gonna be one of those Instagram girls put it on my forehead ew like that feels disgusting it smells weird okay I just feel like one of those Instagram girls that are like dropping shit on their face okay so let's rub that in this feels like castor oil, kind of. It smells like castor oil. My face is very oily, which I love though. I love my face being very oily, which is weird probably, but like this is like a freaking mess. It's really a mess. I like instantly feel disgusting. Do I look as disgusting as I feel right now? Like, are you guys seeing this? Okay, we are going to let that dry down. Okay, that slightly dried down, but what is this supposed to be like honestly okay i'm on the sephora website this retails for 42 dollars um it says it's a fast absorbing no it's not doubles as a primer for glowing radiant look with a dewy finish so i mean okay i guess it's doing what it says but it definitely just feels like if you know what castor oil it is it feels like castor oil and it's like this girl it feels it feels like this and this is thick okay and we're gonna move on to the foundation that I hate this might come as, as a surprise to some of you guys but I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation um this was never exactly my favorite foundation it doesn't look well on me it doesn't do things that I like I don't know I'm on Sephora. This retails for $39. I have the color porcelain here. Um, this is supposed to be full to medium coverage. It's also vegan and cruelty free, which is great about this product. That makes me kind of not hate this product, but we're still going to use it because we're talking about how it looks. And I'm just going to be using this foundation brush from Sephora that I love. It doesn't really have a name, but it says Pro Core Diffuser, and I love it. As you can see, it just... We are going to finish blending this with the Fenty Beauty Blender. I don't hate this, I'm just using it because it's the one that's damp right now, so... Alright, so let's zoom on into my face and... Let's talk more about this. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is not full coverage. Um, it did not cover my acne like it was supposed to do, which I don't appreciate because that's what I use foundation for. And if something says it's full coverage, I would really like it to be full coverage. <laughs> you guys can definitely let me know what you think though in the comments or if you know me personally, you can tell me. Talking to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, especially um, with the primer oil, it definitely gives me a nice glow, which a lot of people don't like, but personally me, I really like glowy makeup. Oily makeup, I, I'm weird, I don't know. I do not like matte makeup. 
let's look at my chin. This is where it always looks the worst around my nose and my chin. Like all that acne, you can still see it. It looks pretty horrible. Yeah. So, let's move on. I definitely do appreciate that it does not make my face look dry. Like, um, yesterday we tried out the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Don't buy this. <laughs> if you have dry skin and texture, don't buy that. But honestly, this is not bad on my texture. Anyway, let's move on. A concealer that I used a lot when I was in, like, freaking ninth grade, but I hate, I would not use it now, is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember why I hate this, but again, just like with the other two things, I don't reach for it, and I don't see myself ever reaching for it, so we're gonna use that for under my eye and on the rest of my pimples. We're not gonna do crazy under eye concealer. I do remember I really like the smell of the, of Mac stuff. I mean, I always who doesn't? You know what I mean? This is after the concealer. Did it really cover up anything that wasn't already covered up, like my acne, my under eyes? I'm looking in a mirror down here. My under eyes do not look brightened. I mean, I don't have the worst under eye bags to begin with, so they are there though, because I don't sleep, but it looks brighter, I guess, but nothing too too drastic like my Tarte Shape Tape does. The acne over here is what I mostly tried to cover. I can still see it. <laughs> my NARS concealer and my Tarte Shape Tape do the job for me every time. <laughs> like, I don't see myself ever switching to anything else. Don't really recommend that unless I'm doing something wrong, you guys can tell me. I don't know. Because I know everything in MAC is really popular. I can never get into it. Yeah. By the way, this concealer is $23. And I'm pretty sure Tarte Shape Tape is cheaper than that. And NARS. I'm not sure though. I don't know. And look at the difference in amount of product that you get. I mean... Why is this that expensive? <laughs> the next thing that I wasted my money on <laughs> is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It's not so much that I hate this, but it is, I don't understand what this is supposed to be for. This retails for $41. Um, I have the color Opal, and I do use Opal highlighter every day, like the normal one. I, I honestly, I don't know how to use this. I don't know what to do with it. Um, my nose itches so bad. I'm just going to take a little bit, like a little bit just that much and put that on like where with a highlighter I guess I, I really don't know if any of you guys know how to use this um can you please tell me <laughs> I mean, do you guys see, like, anything? I can see, like, a pretty glow, I guess. Okay, I don't hate that. Let, let's remove that from this video, because actually, girl, that's a natural pretty glow. Okay, we are deleting this from this video. Like, you can buy that. Okay, I see you. I see you, Becca. Next thing is this contour cream kit by Anastasia. Ooh. By Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um... I should have just called this video the things I don't reach for because I, again, I just, I don't reach for this. I don't use cream contour. The first cream contour I used and loved was the Fenty Beauty one. But other than that, I've never reached for it. 
honestly this is my favorite freaking contour it's so cheap like the wet and wild one recommend see <laughs> rihanna really really had us with with this light with this color for light skin tones <sighs> i always drop shit rihanna really had us girl like for the light skin tones but then you look at this and like, do you see anything that resembles? I guess, which one though? This one, all right, we're gonna use that one then. I don't even know how to use this, like I don't know how to go about it. Do you do it with your finger or like what? We're gonna warm it up, see and it's so dry, like that is so dry. We're gonna warm it up on our finger cause it's dry as hell. The only reason it's going on like that is cause the primer oil, my face is very like oily right now. In a good way, I guess. That's the only reason it's going on kind of smoothly. Because I think if it wasn't for that, this shit is so dry. Like, Ew, like I just, first of all, I don't like doing makeup at all with my finger. Can you guys tell me how to apply this? How to apply a cream contour without your finger? Like, obviously, Rihanna was smart. <laughs> but, um, especially for, like, nose contour. I'm using a darker one for, like, the tip of my nose. Because I'm trying to have, like, a cute button nose right now. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess. Honestly, guys, like, I need to shave my face because when I go like this, like, all I see is, like, white hairs, <laughs> like. And I guess we might as well go all out with this and use the white one and use it as, like, a concealer since the MAC one didn't do shit. Now we blend. <laughs> Okay, we have that all blended in. Um, since I'm so used to using very dark contour when I'm doing photography and things, um, when I use these subtle, subtle colors on me, I don't tell that much of a difference. But you guys can tell me if you liked that or not. Um, this video is not going well for me because I'm, I'm ending up liking all these products <laughs> that I thought I hated, but apparently I don't. Um, yeah, I mean, it was very dry taking out of that, and I'm not sure how to put it on. Like, I don't think you're supposed to do it with your finger. But then it, it blends in nicely. Um, I'm not that mad at it. <laughs> Something to add in about the foundation, it definitely moves a lot. As you can see, this pimple is popping out a lot more. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. So I am going to add more of that in MAC concealer just to those pimples just see if it covers it at all more it covered it a little bit i can do that so i guess now in this video it's time to set our face um and okay <laughs> if you watched any of my videos you see that I use this in every single video. Because I'm just now in my life starting to realize that I hate this product. And I am going to go get a new powder soon. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish um, Powder. And I've been using this for years, dude. Like, you have no idea. And yeah, I'm just now realizing that I hate it. <laughs> it doesn't cover much. And, um... The thing that I am not fond of is that it freaking itches. Like, every time I have my makeup on and I'm done, I'm like, oh, I look cute. Like, But then something on my face itches. And it's it'll do, be, it'll do that for, like, hours. And I'm like, what the hell itches on my face? And I come to the conclusion that it is this powder. <laughs> I'm going to use it for this video, but I'm not going to like it. We're taking the MAC 150 brush, and we're just going to set parts of our face like i said um 
oily. I love the oily look, so not we're not going to do much. But I had to add a powder. Oh my god, look, it itches so bad. I had to do a powder for the video, so that's all I'm going to do. Maybe I'm allergic to something in here. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I hate it. <laughs> I am going to switch to the um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder or whatever. And, but for now, I do have the Fenty Beauty powder, which it's nice. Like, I think it would do the job till I go buy that other one. So, yeah. <laughs> it Like, the, that powder does the job. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you look at me, you can see that it, it powdered. It set my foundation, but... I guess it is time to move on to my eyeballs. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. I, I don't have an eyebrow product that I hate, so. Okay, now I don't want to go to my eyes yet because I'm scared to do my eyes. I feel like that's going to like ruin my life, but. We are going to actually move on to highlighter, and normally, yes, I would do that last, but I don't know. I just feel like doing it right now. This might come to a surprise of people who watch my channel a lot. Um, But yes, the highlighter that I hate for this video is the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the color... Siberian gold Okay, I bought well my, my boyfriend bought this for me. Thank you And sorry that I'm dragging it <laughs> He also bought me other Jeffree Star stuff that I, I I love and still use first of all. This is this is so hard to open Here's what the highlighter looks like And it looks gorgeous doesn't it 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 doesn't It doesn't compare it to Rihanna's trophy wife. Let's get that right. It, it's pretty but, when I read it, I was like, I'm so, I'm so excited. This is about to be the best highlighter of my entire life. Blah, blah, blah. But, girl, no. <laughs> it does not show up how it looks right here. Like, I don't know if it's just my face. Watch it do it in this video. I'm going to be, like, all surprised. But, from my experience, it, it'll show up on a swatch. Like, watch this. Show up on a swatch. But then, on my face, that's a finger swatch. On my face it doesn't do that and also peep how absolutely chunky that is like especially at the tip it is like very chunky so that is it compared to trophy wife by rihanna fancy beauty you see what i mean by his is just chunky i love jeffree star i love his music i love his youtube videos i love him as a person but I love his lipsticks, but this, I can't. I, I just don't like it. It does not show up as it looks on my hand. But let's go ahead and apply it. I'm going to be using Real Techniques brush, whatever this is. I use it every day. And try to apply it. Like, where is it? Where is it? Let's try to pack it more on the brush. And I'm sitting here. I'm really, like, I'm trying. Do you understand this? nothing like okay that that put a little something on but it's not that it's not that it's something i don't know i still want to order the lavender one brianne barbie is my favorite youtuber and um ever since she made that video and she's like this is my favorite like it makes me want to buy it like literally she inspires me every day but I don't ever reach for this. I don't reach for this. I don't use it. Let's put on my nose. I love the nose highlight. Doesn't really go on my nose, like, but if I like put my finger in here and put on my nose, it'll come up. See, like if I use my finger, yeah, it's fine, but no one wants to apply highlight with their finger every day. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put on my finger and then blend it out. So if someone is watching this and they love Jeffree Star's highlights, maybe I, this is just not the right color. That, this is my first Jeffree Star highlighter and my only one. So maybe this color is just not working. <laughs> maybe I got a bad batch. Alright, I, I, I think I got it to a pretty good glow. What do you guys think? Like, I would definitely use this again, but that was a lot of work just to get my highlighter to work. Like, do you know what I'm trying to say, guys? Like, I'm not dragging Jeffree Star. I love Jeffree Star. I'm just saying, like, can you, uh, make it get on my brush? Okay, 
for some reason I want to do everything backwards. I would normally already have done my eyes right now, but I want to do my lips. Um, I do not hate this. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Liner. Um, I'm going to line my lips really fast and I'll be back. Lips are lined. Um, I obviously outdraw my lips. Yes, I know that. <laughs> the lipstick that I hate is <laughs> the NYX uh, Lip Lingerie thing. First of all, I just think I look horrible in nude lipsticks and the internet went crazy over this for a little bit. You know how YouTube is. They love something and then a week later, like, what, are they, what even is it? This one is in the color Lipley, number 07, and um, I hate it. <laughs> it's a lip product. Those are always hit and miss. You just, you never know what it's going to be on you. So let's just go ahead and do that. <laughs> Like, do we see that streakiness? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no matter how much I try to make this look okay, it can't because... Obviously, nude lipstick was not made for me, and uh, we're going to stick to that. But I'm going to leave it on for this video, even though I, I'm looking at the viewfinder and I feel ten times more uglier now. And let's zoom into how dry this is. Like, that looks so bad. <laughs> like, I just feel so ugly right now. Okay, we're going to stay zoomed in because we're moving on to the eyeballs. My lips are so dry, like... I am not dragging Gwen Stefani. This is not going so funny. I'm not dragging the Electric Palette or Urban Decay. I think this is a great palette. I had an extra neighbor who used this palette for a school dance since she was very young. And um, they kind of uh, used the hell out of this and, you know, dug in a little too deep. But that's okay because I'm never going to use this anyway. You want to know why? I do not use colored eyeshadow. And if you do, you're creative and I love you for that. But me, I'm not creative <laughs> and I can't. I don't know what to do with them. And I'll probably never use them, but today we're gonna watch me fail. So if you guys are ready to watch me fail and watch me look freaking hilarious, then okay. I'm honestly gonna make this whole part just fast because I don't feel like explaining anything because there's no need to explain anything. It's just not gonna happen, so. Oh my goodness gracious, what am I doing? So let's put an emphasis on the fact that I I don't hate this palette. I think this palette is beautiful and beautifully pigmented. Like, wow. Um, but just the fact that I don't use colored <laughs> uh, eyeshadow. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot take myself seriously right now. The fact that my eyes look like this and my lips look like this. What even is my life? First of all, I don't know how to do eyeshadow. I don't know how to blend. We're gonna <laughs> let's just let's just look at this. This is literally embarrassing. Like what was I try what was I going for? <laughs> like what is like what is this supposed to be, Ashley? What am I doing with my life? I honestly feel so ridiculous. But anyway, the very last thing for this video is mascara. We're gonna be using the Revlon Dramatic Definition mascara because. I don't reach for this, I don't like it, it sucks. Yeah. Can't take myself seriously. I can't. I just can't. I can't. Here's a mascara though. Um it's it's not that great, honestly, it's not that great, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> we are done. 
this look. Um, I feel ridiculous. I'm looking in the mirror down here like I feel ridiculous. I'm going to take my flash photo that I always take. Um, after I done my makeup, just so I can get the real picture. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. First of all, this lipstick needs to go. Like, honestly, it needs to go. Um, I, I, honestly, the eyes are not that bad. Like, let me cover up my lips. Like, the eyes for... But me, for someone who absolutely does not like eyeshadow, I did not do horrible. Um, these lips need to like really like go away. Um, that looks atrocious. <laughs> As for the face makeup, it is not entirely horrible. I look pale, probably because of these. The contour is not bad. It's just this lipstick that like I, I'm like stuck on, but anyway, um, like I look like some Italian girl who's about to like curse you out right now, in my opinion. But anyways, you guys can let me know what you think of every single one of these products. Like if you think that I'm I'm wrong about one of them, definitely t say your opinion. I mean that's what YouTube comments are for, for you to totally speak your mind. Like you don't always have to be nice. That's not what comments are for. You don't have to be nice. But. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and watching this. And definitely hit that subscribe button. Then when you're done that, hit that like button. And then if you did not hit that subscribe button, then hit it. That'll be the end of this video. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you and bye. <laughs>